the, the second movement is particularly beautiful. And uh, where did that come from? Well, I mean, th there's this incredible form of singing uh, in the Western Isles and in the Highlands of Scotland uh, associated with the, uh, the, the wee frees, as we call them, the Free Presbyterian Church. They, they sing their psalms in Gaelic, um, but it's a very strange ethereal form of singing. Um, they probably think they're singing in unison, uh, <laughs> but it's not. That It's more of a kind of heterophony where a cantor or presenter leads uh, and the congregation follow him. Uh, uh, and they all embellish their lines differently uh, uh, as individuals really? and it's uh, it's an amazing uh, experience it's not something that sounds uh, even to Scottish ears uh, sounds um, homemade it's it's quite eastern sounding and mm -hmm. uh, Semitic even um, um, uh, but the, the the fact that they all embellish and almost improvise on on given patterns is, is, is an incredible uh, improvisational form That's amazing. and I think it's it's inspired many composers to try and match it yeah. um, I mean the Polish composer Lutoslavski d did this without a knowledge of Gaelic psalm singing you can feel a kind of heterophony in his music where there's a kind of leader and a drag as it were yeah. uh, where line melodic line is making harmony as it goes and that's what I attempted here so in the second movement you are the presenter as it were you lead off each phrase mm -hmm. uh, as a soloist mm -hmm. as a cantor uh, would and then the the strings um, are, are supposedly the congregation who follow your line but at different different speeds and different entry points like a canon a very simple canon a mm -hmm. heterof heterophonic canon or piling up of the same line but but it leaves a kind of trail behind it so that the melody becomes, I wouldn't say harmony as such, but, but texture. Mm. 